This video will discuss some of the new features that have been added to Visual Foundation version 10. Let's get started. Number one, in the startup screen, the example projects have been moved from a tab to the main window where they are more visible and easier to access. Number two, in Visual Foundation 10, the slab reinforcement is now defined for each slab in the model and load view instead of being defined for the entire system in the foundation design view as it was in the previous version. This gives you the option to define different reinforcement details for each slab in the model. Note, you can always select multiple slabs to define the reinforcement details for all of the slabs collectively. Number three, in Visual Foundation 10, you can now set the design approach to optimize or specify. The specify approach allows you to set a specific rebar pattern for the slab for the program to check, while the optimize approach allows the program to search for an optimal reinforcement pattern from a list of patterns set up in the design rebar pattern dialog box. Note, this dialog box has been significantly improved in Visual Foundation 10. For more information on the optimize and specify design approaches, and to see how the dialog box has been improved, check out the Defining Slab Reinforcement video. Number four, the functionality of the drawing grids in Visual Foundation 10 have been improved and the names of the drawing grids have been simplified. Number five, under the Slab Details section of the Filter tab of the Project Manager, the subgrade modulus for each slab can now be shown in the model. Number six, in the Analysis Results tab, there is a new Location Results feature in the Results tab of the Project Manager. This feature allows you to enter a specific location and it shows you the plate element, the displacement, the bearing pressure, and the results for the forest type that you chose at that specific location. Number seven, in the Foundation Design tab, an option has been added to check the minimum required area of the flexural reinforcement. Number eight, selecting a grade beam, you can now specify the number of shear lags for the grade beam instead of being limited to only two shear legs. Number nine, in the report view, a feature has been added to help you filter the table extremes. This is the same feature that was added to Visual Analysis 19 and is covered in depth in the table extremes video for visual analysis. Number 10, the justification for the columns in a report table can now be modified. Simply right click on the column to set the justification for that column to left, center, or to right. Number 11, under the new reports tab in the project manager, reports that you create can now be saved in the project or saved as a style to use in other projects. In addition to adding new features to visual analysis, improvements have been made to the help file, which is accessed by clicking the button in the ribbon. We hope you enjoy the new features in Visual Foundation version 10. Thanks for watching and have a great day.